What is going on, Guardians? We've got the weekly reset for May 9th of 2023. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the Eververse store. Everybody loves the Eververse store. So firstly, we've got the reigning champion emote. This one actually looks really good. Um, the next thing we're going to have is the plush shell. This is an interesting looking ghost shell, to say the least. We've got the rivalry white sand. This is a decent looking shader. We also have the Golden Age Wine. This is a pretty good looking shader on certain things. Um, and then we have the Curling Shuffle. This is a, uh, a bit of an interesting multiplayer emote. We have the Weightlifter emote. So if you, uh, if you want to be squatting those weights. And we have the Champion Shell. Turns your, uh, your ghost into a bit of a trophy. <laughs> Um, we've got the Vi for Glory Sparrow. This thing looks decent, but don't know why you'd be running it over the Always on Time. And then we have the Victor's Aliquin. This is a bit of an interesting looking ship. Um, then we have the Verdiant Chrome, which was also around last week. I'd pick this up if you haven't picked it up yet. We have the Reef Maid. This is a pretty good, uh, purple and pink shader if you want one of those we have the up for grabs this is literally just the guardian games colors but is something if you don't pick it up you probably won't get a chance to until next year and then we have the photo finish which if you can see on the bond here any glowing armor will change colors so if you do not have this um this shader i would pick it up this weekend or this week the next thing we have is going to be the Nightfall. The Nightfall for the week is going to be the Glassway. Um, it's also double Nightfall rewards. So if you're going to farm a, uh, a Nightfall, this week's going to be a great one to do. Um, let's talk to Commander Zavala because the weapon is going to be the new Buzzard Sidearm. So if you don't have one of these yet, I would recommend going into the Nightfall this week. Um, the next thing I want to check real quick is going to be the gunsmith, because he always has some decent stuff. Let's see here. Okay, so he's got a Imperial Needle with Sneak Bow Swashbuckler. I would not pick that up. Wouldn't pick that up. Those aren't rec- I would pick up this Brass Attacks for PvP. This is a decent Brass Attacks for PvP right here. It's not great. Um, no. Okay. Not bad, but I still wouldn't look into it. Um. Yeah, this is almost a god roll. <laughs> and if box breathing ever gets a buff, this is, this is kind of broken. The only thing that would make this better is if this was, uh, tac tactical mag, and this was, um, and this was high impact. So this is a decent roll for a rapid fire sniper. Um okay. This is a good uh this is a good sidearm right here. You got threat detector for that increased reload and you have repulsor brace cuz right now we have volatile rounds. So this is going to give you a overshield pretty much every time you get a kill. I wouldn't pick that up. I wouldn't pick that up. As for your weekly things, your dungeon is going to be the Prophecy. That's going to be the featured dungeon this week. And your raid is going to be the Vow of the Disciple. So if you still need some of these challenges or you want to go into the master mode, get some of the uh, adept weapons, um, then I'd recommend running this. Um, but... I believe that's going to be it for the week. Uh, the weekly reset. Um, I will have the Lost Sector video out for today. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for me. Aegon out.